I think the world needs to realize, especially like you're, you're saying, your typical fat, dumb, and happy American needs to understand that we are already in World War III. It's already happening. Mm. We all think that it's going to look like World War II. It's going to look like bombers and submarines and alerts where you climb under your desk. Like that, that, There's no rational reason to think that a war in 2024 would look anything like a war in the 1950s. No reason to think that at all. You have to expect that the war would evolve. So here's what happened. Syria, Libya, the conflicts that you saw in Yemen, these were the beginnings of what we call proxy war. Proxy war is the term that you want to think of when you think about World War III. And a proxy war is nothing more than an intra, intrastate, like intramural means inside the state, a civil war, if you will. It's an intrastate war that's funded and exacerbated by external players. That's what happened in Syria. Internal war funded and exacerbated by China and Russia on one side and the United States on the other side. Yemen is the same way. An intrastate conflict, a civil war funded by Saudi Arabia on one side, Iran on the other side. It's the same thing that happened in Libya, right? And that's, that, is the, that is the model of the current age. Right now, where we sit today, there's 116 hot conflict zones in the world. The vast majority of them are proxy wars where there's a, a first world or developing world on one side and a first world or developing world adversary on the other side who are both funding internal conflict, whether that's in Colombia or whether that's in Sri Lanka or whether that's in uh, in you know various parts like uh, Bien, uh, Myanmar or Burma, mm -hmm. happening all over the world. Those conflicts started in 2006, 2007, right? Basically the last inter or traditional conflict was us invading Afghanistan. When you look at Russia and Ukraine, they, Russia made a misstep because they violated the proxy war approach only because they shared a border with Ukraine. Mm. So they chose to go into Ukraine, but then immediately after they invaded Ukraine, what did the United States do? Used Ukraine as a proxy. So the war in Ukraine isn't a war between Russia and Ukraine. It's a war between the West and Russia. <laughs> and the thing that's so frustrating is that when we, when Russia first invaded <laughs> Ukraine, Putin said, this is not a war against the West, right? This is a war against Nazism or whatever else, which was total bullshit, totally failed bad propaganda. But where Putin was smart is he knew that he just had to bullshit for a few months yeah. because after that, something would happen where he could tell the truth. And that's why within three months, when Ukraine was using American weapons to fight on Ukrainian soil, and when Ukraine was using British weapons and, and Poles were teaching them, like now it became very much a Western effort to contain Russia. And then that's when Putin changed, what is this war? And he changed it to, this is a war against the West. Mm. Well, now this guy who was a liar is telling the truth. And that's hard. It's hard to be a Western person and look at the conflict in Ukraine and not be like, how Putin's got a point. Putin's telling the truth sometimes. Right, there's a grain of truth, which makes it ambiguous. Which makes it even worse yeah. because now he can hide the lies even more effectively behind that grain of truth. And it's such a shit show mm -hmm. because we all like, we may disagree with this element, but we can't deny that other fact. Right. And the same thing now is, has evolved in between Israel and Hamas. So the, the point I'm trying to make is just World War III is already happening. What we are feeling as we feel like it's coming closer to home, what we're actually feeling is the escalatory effect, mm. the escalation of proxy wars. There are more than there were before. They are larger than they were before. More people are getting involved than they were before. And we see, just like when you watch a fuse on a bomb, you know it's getting closer and closer to blowing up the bomb. And mm. the question is, are we, gonna, are we gonna snuff the fuse, clip the fuse, or let it go all the way? And that's the real question because it's it's, we are continuing to see escalation that is absolutely worrisome. Mm.